Is jerking off just petting your cock? <laughs> petting zoo. That's what I call my bedroom. Or hydroflask? Flask? Hydroflacid. It's a hydroflask, but it's soft. I don't know why they're so hard. Have you ever heard one of them bitches drop? Yes. It'll wake up a neighbor. Even yeah. the rooster's like, God damn, shut up. Too early. Too loud. Dude, speaking of um, loud. What? Um, I just found out my girlfriend sleep talks. Uh, she sat up last night, sat up in the bed, just said yep. blueberries, stared. Yep. And then went right back to sleep. And I will say this. That was the worst night I could have ever taken an edible. I couldn't fall asleep. And I just saw her sit up, say blueberries, and then like, like not go straight back to sleep, like fall right back. She like yep. slowly crept in it. Like, you know, when you're in a, like a lounge chair that's like sliding back. Uh huh. It was like that. Just went slow back. Slow back. See, I'm it was so like it was a core workout, buddy. I'm so scared of like ghosts and the devils. I might fight if my girl ever did that. I might throw out the window. I don't like anything that resembles ghosts or goblins. Yeah. If my girl stood up and be like, "Sweet potatoes, you're going out the window." <laughs> I'm moving out. I'm yeah. leaving. Terrible night taking an edible. It was a lot going on. Why'd you take an edible? You I don't sleep? know. I don't know. I thought I would be like, "Oh, whoa, I'll sleep better." No, opposite. I was, dude, I, had so, I will say I had so many ideas though. I was the most creative I've ever been. She probably thought I was up late, like texting hoes, but it, I, like every like five minutes I'd roll over and write like a whole like sketch or like uh, a stand up bit, but like I felt so creative, but I couldn't fall asleep. So I was just laying there. So when she got up and said blueberries, I was like, is everything okay? And then she had to drop it bad blueberries. <laughs> And went back to sleep. Also, if you're high, it's like, bitch, if you're going to say blueberries, bring me blueberries. Bring them. You ever have frozen blueberries? Yeah. Sir, <laughs> really good. Frozen mangoes? Put them in my ass. Frozen <laughs> mangoes are good. Yes. Yeah. Well, I took an edible because I was. Yeah, uh, well, I went to a bachelor party over the weekend, okay. Scottsdale. And, you know, it's just like your body's not meant to go from like not drinking ever really mm -hmm. to just three days in a row. So like when I got home, I was so tired, but like. My body like didn't feel, it felt like, ugh, it didn't feel like I was in my body. Like I was like, I want to go to sleep. My body's like, too bad you've been eating Jim Beam for the last three days. Did you not get a lot of sleep during the? No. It, dude, it's, I don't know. It's like when you, dr I, I, I haven't had something like that since like literally like college or something. But like anytime you go on like a quote unquote bender, as my dad says, whoa. whoa. It's like you feel like you don't like, and you wish everything was just back to normal. But you yeah. like you like lay down and then you're just your body feels like such shit you can't even go to sleep. I can't believe you quote unquote did a bender. I think I would yeah. last like ten percent of a bender and then I'd wake up and people are like, Do you want eggs benedict or a shot of jack? Yeah. And I would say, I want to go home. Yeah. Here's the thing. I kinda wanted it. I wanted to just bro down. Wow. I just wanted like a Milwaukee Western bro down. <laughs> Tour dates, tour dates, stand-up comedy tour dates. Uh, Michael Blasine is going to be on the road. Where am I going to be yelling about feet? I will tell you. Las Vegas, June 24th to the 25th. Nashville, Tennessee, July 8th to the 9th. Austin, Texas, July 23rd to the 24th. Uh, Chicago, I'll be August 4th to the 6th. And Tempe, I'll be September 8th to the 10th. Go get tickets at BlauComedy.com. That is BlauComedy.com. Mr. Wallace. Why don't you let them know what's happening? Dude, I got one, and it's July 7th on the west side of Los Angeles at Venice West. It's in Venice. Cool little concert venue by 80 Cedar. We're just going to do some new jokey jokes with the boys. And I also think I'm adding another show in July bum, in the bum. Southern California area adjacent to Los Angeles. We'll have more details next week. Also, 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 big news for your boy. This has nothing to do with Stiff Socks, but I am also launching uh, – I, I sold a little show – to Spotify Live. Boom. Right? Spotify Live. It's interactive. Uh, every other Wednesday, starting on the 15th of this month, uh, 6 p.m., I'm just going to be doing a little, little rants, doing what, I, doing what I do, you know? And then you guys can chat. It's going to be a fun, interactive thing. And then the episodes will be uh, in the back catalog. But I'm still and always will be doing Stiff Socks. But uh, this Wednesday, the 15th, we go to uh, the app, Spotify Live. It's called Millen Z, Millennial Gen Z threesome. So. Check it out, dude. Go, peep. It's going to be sick. Uh, and also, why don't we bring this up? Uh, we blew up the freaking Yaris. We blew it up. We blew it Las up. Las Vegas. We blew it up. We took it out there. Machine guns. Uh, fucking, I don't even know what type of gun it is. It's a big one. The it's called a big 50 one. Cal, some caliber. It's the big one. Excalibur. Sucked yeah. it. You it can shoot a well with it. Sky high. But we dropped a little like documentary. It's like 12 minutes on the Patreon. And it's, dude. So for five bucks, not only do you get a brand new episode every Friday, ad-free, yep. unreleased, 
He also gets to watch the yards they go. $5. I mean, that's $5. incredible. Okay. Netflix, never heard of them unless they give me a special. Never heard of them. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so guys you want to get all that exclusive content go on patreon.com backslash if sucks pod watch the freaking yars video guys it cost a lot of money so please go watch it <laughs> guys hit him with a splat it wasn't cheap isn't there a beer, beer milwaukee's best Mil, B, milwaukee beast some shit like that i, be, I don't beast, know what beast talking. ice beast some shit beast mr Be- beast YouTube? Mr. Beast, he does YouTube videos. YouTube videos. Why is he so good at them? I don't know. His thumbnails. I think that's 90% of his success is the good thumbnail. Let me ask you this. Do you think, and maybe the answer is 100% yes. Do you think if he just took over my YouTube right now and like was my YouTube consultant, he could like just make my YouTube just go the fuck you off? You would quit this podcast in two weeks. You have so much <laughs> goddamn money. He, no, he's literally really? like, oh my God. He's the guy everybody on YouTube is trying to be right now. So any like any like anybody that like he sort of effects or like collabs with like everybody in his like um ecosystem is ecosystem I got all it. just popping really just popping if you're associated it's just popping he's like it's like being in the brady bunch you're one brady but you're still on wow that's yeah, awesome he's, he's going off i mean he's built like a chocolate factory for his last video meanwhile i'm like Ugh, should we just film my my apartment again who knows yeah i don't understand i like here's the thing i think people like that i think they got a bit of uh um how do I say like uh what not they they need ADD medication. What what do they have? Adderall? ADHD? ADHD, thank you. I think you got a bit of ADHD. We got it all together, guys. What, what do you know mean? what I mean? You ever like hear Mark Zuckerberg talk? He's like oh, talks yeah. like a fucking I am talks human. Like a chia pet. Yeah. Y- yeah. Just like a, like you're like so, you're too the the focus is to, or like Elon Musk. Yeah, Furby taught him how to speak English. Yeah, like you're not and Mr. Beast sort of talks like that too where you're like you they're so good at a thing and I think to get to that level of being that great, you got to be a little like like you ever heard like uh, Michael Jordan or like Kobe talk about basketball? They're like a little it's like not human. Or me talking about TikTok? What's up, guys? Almost 8 mil. What's up, guys? What the hell's going on? I don't know. Killing. I'm in the metaverse. Whoa. Plug, plug the masterclass. Know. Masterclass. Plug it. Insert it. <laughs> Run it up. Uh, Troublescomedy.com. Wait. I don't... But I think when you're just that good at something, it's like it's inside baseball and anything. You go to a chef at the back of like a small mom and pop Italian shop and you're like, is the meatballs just meat and balls? And they'd look at you and be like, you don't fucking know anything, kid. Right. Get out of here. Yeah, yes. Or shove this cannoli in your ass. Yes, I, I've never had a cannoli. It sounds great. Let's do it. All right. I, huh? So, <laughs> I, uh, but, but I, I, I think I would rather, dude. I remember when I was a kid, and I would look at like uh, an NBA draft class, and I'd look at like the one, two, or three, or four, or five, and I'd be like, I don't want to be one. I want to be like two or three. I think that's perfect. Less pressure, or dude, it's just like you're bagging out. People respect you, but you're not the number one pick. The number one pick is just too, it's too scrutinized. It's just like, I don't want that. And, but I think the people there. that want that and thrive in that environment, I think they're, they're wired differently. Mm-hmm. Like, they're not like, you're like, hey, is basketball fun? They're like, I love basketball. Like, are you, do you, are you having a good time? That's all their life is. Yeah. I think I would rather be, you know, I'd rather be pick sixth in the draft and actually have fun than like, be number one and be like Elon Musk. Am okay. I making any sense? You seem sense more here? grounded. You just want to be more amongst the community of norm- normalcy? Yeah, just, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't a know. Bit, I, I, what I'm saying is, dude, to, to be so... But you ever uh, just be talking about stand-up and like your girl would be like, how was the show? And then you're like, oh, it was good, but this callback didn't work. Yeah. And, and the host in the back didn't like me yeah. and, and the acoustics. And you're like, four sentences in, she's like, you lost me at the acoustics what the right. hell is this a goddamn john Mayer concert <laughs> but it's like we're so we know so much about stand-up that you, i think but mr beast is on a level of like ten thousand. where he's yes. just what he's saying is like even i mean i get it because i'm a youtube extraordinaire but <laughs> i i do see how it's easy to get lost but it's like his ideas and it's just his i think he also has a lot of people working for him so it's just like it's like he has like 10 chefs in, in the in the kitchen Coming up with one idea and, and you everybody's can, inputting. And you can also, once you're on that level, you can literally do anything. You can, like, you can make a chocolate factory. Yeah. I you, don't even, where do you start? Garadelli? Hi. Yeah. Do, who, what do you want? Fiverr? Yeah. I don't know the most, in, the, I don't, 
I mean, I filmed the sketch in the Bang Bus, and that for me it was like that was my Mr. Beast level. Yeah, we did oh, a podcast in the Bang Bus. That was wild. Click it here, dude. <laughs> <the> big- <laughs> a lot of ads, <laughs> a lot of shameless plugs. Yeah, before we even get into the ads. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, the most expensive thing that I've done ever by far was the freaking the the Yaris thing, and I'm even that I'm like, this is it. Like this is the max. Oh, how oh, do we? What do we block six cars? I mean, yeah. Like, but you do have to keep evolving. You gotta. I know. If we just did just me and you, you know, there's the loyal people who are like, I love this show. But in a couple months, we got to be like, new set, uh, new guests, new Gabe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just kidding. Uh, Gabe, please, no, only, no. please only, please okay, only, please okay, 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 Gabe, I love you. Show me your love ball. But I think it's like it's just that you gotta evolve with the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and to evolve properly, I think you got to be a little. I mean, because I remember listening to Mr. Beast's episode on uh, Rogan, and he was like. All he did yeah, for hours insane. and hours and hours and hours was YouTube. Yeah, if you're an aspiring YouTuber, just listen to that shit. It'll fire anybody up, dude. My dude, dad went I'm back to even, community yeah. college after listening to that shit. Like it's <laughs> no, it's really it. But um, yeah, it just inspires anything. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like I remember in YouTube like five years ago it was so simple. It was it was just like you would you would do one thing and then you would put in the hood after. It'd be like smashing iPhones <laughs> in the hood, and it's just like it's I don't even think that's legal that's it's it's just it's clickbait and that was all it was that's all it was eating auntie ann's pretzels in the hood but like for whatever reason like that was all youtube was was the pranks it was every every youtube video in the world was filmed on venice beach it was just stupid pranks yeah. it was like vitaly it'd be like the guy squirting like champ there was a there was a guy i tried to do a uh what's it called gold like a gold digging prank okay. like jokingly the other yeah, day yeah and I and I was doing some research, and there's a guy on YouTube, and he he's on part 181 of I Gold Diggers. Yeah, I saw him last week. When we t- what are crazy. you talking about? Part 181. I don't understand. Who's watching part seven? And be like, surely it's different than one through six. But I, what's this Gold Digger prank? Like they just go in there. He he. Whoa! I found. You've a, seen these a, for sure. He, it's like you walk up on the street and you have like a Toyota Corolla, and you're like, we should fuck. And the girl's oh, like, oh 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 no. Those. And those. then he goes, well, what if we fucked in a Bugatti? And then she's just naked. This guy like interviews the girls after because it's like a 12 minute video, all, but it's all for clicks and monetization. It's all for like the longer he runs his video, the more ads he can put in it. So he gets the girl to be like, well, you want to go in the Bugatti now? And she's like, sure. And then he's just like driving and interviewing her and be like, so why did you want to get in the car with me? Look, yeah, like 185, 185 dude, 184. 184. Do they it's get the views? same car. Oh, it's the same car. Same car. I mean, that car was paid off by part 33, but he's just raking in. Oh, it's the same car. I'm going to keep repeating it. I had no idea. I thought he rented a new one. It's the same car. But like, I don't like guys, part 186. Like his manager calls him and he's like, we need 194. Manager. Manager. Okay, hold on. see which, because so the new one's like 56K. Go to to most popular. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this this was prime YouTube, like, and these views would it, they would be they'd be like twenty to thirty million because there was no other platform you could really go viral on in twenty fifteen. So YouTube was TikTok, it was Instagram, it was everything. Yeah, this is this is interesting. It, I what I mean, dude, people, but like, I, I people on TikTok do this, right? They're like the one thing works, and they go, "Well, this is now what my page is." Yeah, yeah. It's like one dude eats a cheesecake with his asshole, and he's like, "Well, let's do the chocolate cheesecake." Where's that video? Let, oh, I'll do it. <laughs> Let's do a chocolate cheesecake. That's you know? what it is. It's like you find something that works. And then, like what I said a couple minutes ago, if you don't evolve with it, yeah. it's just going to burn out. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You well, got to, like, that type of prank, there's still a small audience for it, mainly only on YouTube. But he's got to find a way to, like, kind of, like, add more layers to it. Yeah, like, add, like, an angry pit bull. Or, at, what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just like just in the Bugatti or a chocolate fountain. There you go. Or have two cars. How do you or feel about fondue? Never had it. Really? It looks good. It's stupid. I don't even. Here's the funny thing. I when you say fondue, I have two images. I have a piece of chicken that you chicken. Uh, there you go. I don't even know what it is. Piece of chicken and you dip in some liquid, whatever that is. What like propel? <laughs> I, do you know, or like a tr- like a, a chocolate thing, and you have strawberries, and you dip yeah, it in that. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's that what one. it is. Okay. Yeah, that one. But it's like if you're okay. gonna do chocolate covered strawberries, I want that chocolate to be rocked up. I don't want to be sucking on no soft chocolate. Well, hold Clip on. It. it. Hi, <laughs> is it is it? Uh, it doesn't harden quick. You know that no, shit it, it you never put does. On, you know that shit you put on ice cream that hardens real fast. The turtle shell. That's it. That's what that's I thought. That's fucked up the game. 
Do you remember dude. the day Pinkberry dropped? That was a big day in the yogurt world. Dude, yes, I do. New York went fucking ape shit. Everybody had to buy and they're like, why is my ice cream sour? It is not good, right? What? Oh, yeah. It's not good. Dude, I'm out. I, I like begged my mom. We had it like on a Sunday. Are you in? Am on I Pinkberry? in? On Pinkberry? Do I look like a guy who would pass up Pinkberry? But if I've had Pinkberry twice. I'd give head so to average. a baby bottle pop for $4. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have $4? Dude, I loved it. Love it. Berry? Do you love it currently? Currently, yes. Really? Yeah, that like Does tart it, sensation with it, fruit. The tart is gross. That's what I'm saying. Like everybody took a bite and they're like, why is my yogurt sour? Yeah, but how are you going to go? Why are you going to go back? It's not good. We all understand it's not good. It's like kombucha. You're like, I don't like this, but I love it. You, Every time I see kombucha, I'm like, I'll get it. And then I take three sips and I'm like, this tastes like a batter acid dipped in a Fanta. It kind of, there's alcohol in it, right? Not always. Oh. Sometimes they do. There's like hard kombucha or, or like 0.5% or some shit. It's like, you know when you get ID'd sometimes when you're buying NyQuil and you're like, really? Yeah. You think I'm just flipping NyQuil to eighth graders? I, Not a bad business model. I'm Mr. Beast. How many, that's a good Mr. Beast title. Yeah. How many kindergartens can I get high on NyQuil? Boom. Yeah. I should have just done views. NyQuil last night. I was paranoid. And then I woke up like in sweats with like four different spider bites. I think spider I'm Spider Man. Bites. Yeah, yeah. I have like four different spider. I have like one right here on my back. I just, I'm so itchy today. Ew. Uh, that all right. Would be sick. That would be <laughs> sick if you turn into Spider Man. But you got extra bites, so then you'd be extra Spider Man. Yeah, That's I'm over cool. spidered. Double Spider Man. I got too many legs. I'm just a centipede. <laughs> centipede. Centipedes are out here. They don't feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's crazy. Imagine. If you were a centipede and then a lady centipede walked by. God, first of all, just imagine going to a goddamn shoe store. Hey, can I get a size three 400 times? God, imagine. Centipede, 100 feet. But I'm imagine going. going through a TSA as a centipede. Take your shoes off, take your shoes off, take your shoes off, take your shoes off. I mean, dude, if you don't have fucking pre-check as a centipede, you're an idiot. True. You're a fucking 100% idiot. 100% true. Well, dude. if you're a centipede, right in. Um, anyways, <laughs> wait, there's centipedes or one more? One is a fuck ton. Um, one is a millipede. Millipede. Which is a million feet. No. 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 <laughs> millipede. <laughs> Milli, milli, that sounds like a city in San Francisco. What are those things that roll up in little balls? Roly poly. Thank you. Are no, they really? Yeah. Are they really called that? The scientific name? No, there's a, there's a dude. They're they're not great animals. They like hide and poop. Yeah. Amber fun. Heard type beat. Would you still beat single? I'll give you. Single. <laughs> You're single. She walks in dressed like the Aqua Woman. Yeah, woman. bitch, I'm dressing up like a Charmin fucking paper towel picker upper dog. Oh, Let's yeah. go. I think if a girl was I was really, really attracted to and she was like, I I I I wanna shit on you. I wouldn't be like, oh woo yay. But I would do it. Like I think I would get off by her excitement to do it. But I would do it. I think a lot of dudes I think like you do a lot of things. Probably. Yeah. But I mean, just it the the smell would be horrendous. But like the warmness of it wouldn't be that bad, you know. It would just be like you ever have like a warm towel on you while you're getting a massage. Like that feels really good. Yeah, yeah. I feel it like would just the, be uh, that. The post night regret would be pretty bad though, because it's like the oh. smell's not going to go away for a while. You know, yeah, you got to do it right in the shower. Jump. Yeah, right doing in it in the shower, shower, I think would be would be fine. Yeah, but I mean, think it it would feel like this is uh, this is wild to say, and I know everyone's going to disagree with me, but like if you can't smell it. Just if you feel the sensation of a of a poop going like just kind of slowly going on you and it like kind of roll, it doesn't. It, it's it's almost relaxing. Think about it. No, no. no I would rather it go in the toilet. <laughs> Me too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just Me clarify too, sir. that. I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah. If a girl was super hot and very into it, like I would be, I would want to like you know a piece her in that. Yeah, but she just like shit the sheets. It wasn't like a fetish thing, was it? No, she just shit on the sheets. I don't really know any of the I thought it was maybe a revenge thing or something. I think it was. Yeah, like it was like a fuck you. I don't know shit on the sheets. It is funny. It's blame it on the dog. He's like, I don't have a dog. I have a goldfish. It was a, it was a goldfish. Well, do, uh, goldfish had pizza. I'm sorry. <laughs> just fucking shit on the thing. God damn. People, guess what? This episode is sponsored by none other than Liquid Death. You guys see them all over the freaking place. What is Liquid Death, dude? Liquid Death is incredible mountain water that is in a tall boy can. Aluminum. You hear the 
Dude, it keeps the water nice and cold. You look cool as shit while you're drinking it. And why is this water called liquid death? Why, well, dude? Because it will brutally murder your thirst. <laughs> while bringing death to plastic. And they even donate 10% of their profits from every single can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Let me ask you a question, dude. Do you want plastic in a dolphin's nose? No. No. Okay. Then drink liquid death. Okay. They come in aluminum cans. They taste better. Also, they got a wide mouth on the aluminum can. I don't like when the cans have the little up. baby mouth. You yeah. can't drink it. Yeah. Dude, you can chug the shit out of this. Oh, I've shotgunned a few. I chugged one this morning, and yeah. there's something so feels so good about it. Just like, you know how thirsty you are first thing in the morning? Yeah. Yeah. Crack a liquid death. Put on Metallica. Chug it. <laughs> dude, you don't even have to put on Metallica. It just starts playing when you start drinking it. Yeah. Warning. That does not actually happen. But they also have sparkling water, and they also have flavors in sparkling water. Buddy. They got mango chainsaw. They got buried alive dude and dude, dude, the place would be priced i saw one at whole foods and i was like it was like a dollar 79 like, dude, I don't. you look at him you go oh these are a billion dollars no they're not and i will say i'm a big sparkling guy and it's the right amount of sparkle sometimes you yeah. have sometimes you drink it fucking have a pellegrino it's too, too much many bubbles too many bubbles the plastic yeah hey, you know what's nice is you, huh. you crack the top so it forces you to drink your water my girlfriend will take one sip of her water bottle and then just leave it out and then i'm like who's this for the lord but it's like now you're like oh let me finish this bad boy you let have to stay hydrated but trevor where where can i get it dude you can get it at liquiddeath.com backslash socks and get free shipping on all water and merch and the merch Whoa. is actually fire like, it, it is? looks it's some like it looks like just like streetwear. It's really sick. Or you can grab it at Whole Foods, 7 Eleven, Target, Albertson, Safeway, or Amazon. Dude, wow. they're, they're literally everywhere. The cans, you'll see them. They're nestled up between those other stupid plastic bottles. Just Nobody give it a try. Wants plastic. Dude, also, if you're like, if you want to go out to the bars with your friends and, and you don't drink, but you don't want to feel like embarrassed for not drinking, uh -huh. which isn't a thing you should ever feel. But no. I do know people that like cope by drinking these because it feels like they're drinking an IPA with that. Dude, all that's great. Death of plastic, get some aluminum cans, feel cool shit while you're drinking water. Uh, go to dot com backslash socks. God damn. What the F word is going on, dude? Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Seat Geek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code SOCKS. What? If you didn't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. Yep. I got the app on my phone. It's by far the best way to go about buying tickets. Super scrollable, super good interface, and it's just like boom, 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 boom. There's concerts in town you don't even know about, so you can use this as like an exposure guide. Dude, and we're talking about concerts that you're not trying to miss, okay? Concerts like, uh, I'm talking about The weekend, okay? Whoa. Doja Cat, Justin Bieber, uh, Trevor Wallace, Michael Blaustein, yep. Olivia Rodrigo, Shawn Mendes, Mendes, and so much more, okay? SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good deal. Red means bleh, okay? Don't worry. I got you Guys, okay, use socks for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That is socks, $20 off at SeatGeek, okay? Go get it. Make sure you get those fire concerts for cheaper. Go to SeatGeek, guys. All you got to do is click the link in the description to download the app, and boom, 20 bucks off. First SeatGeek order. Run it. Go. God damn. Um, I mean, way to ruin the sheets. First of all, Johnny Depp sheets, expensive. Pissed. Well, yeah, but... Also, there's probably a lot of coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Depp be laying dick. <laughs> laying it down. Yeah. How Jonathan you, Depp. <clears throat> yeah. Also, like, how are you that... I, I mean, are, if you're that... You're not wearing condoms if you're that famous, right? Opposite. Of course you are. Think so? Yeah. Because look, think about one child. Now, there's... That person now attached to you at the hip, a.k.a. Moneybags McGee. Yeah. I mean, you think Drake's running around with a fucking little TSA-approved bottle of Tabasco if he wasn't with his condoms? Yeah, it's true. I'm just saying it, that, that sucks. Because you have to, like, con some condoms are fine, but most condoms, I mean, just like, uh, do they come in different sizes? I know magnums, condoms? blah, blah, blah. I know they got magnums and they got the regular size, right? But I will say- Have you ever had sex before? I, no, I, well, I've never, I, dude, I probably wore a condom 17 times in my life. Like it's not. I'm not like an advocate. I'm. This is not the right thing to do. Yeah. But like, I don't wear condoms that, or I haven't wore condoms that often. But I will say that. How come some condoms like they they're like, I'm like, whoa, this is pretty tight. And then some condoms I'm like, this is sliding off. Yeah. Like I've lost a condom in a lady. A number of times. Where'd it go? 
Don't know. I had to play <laughs> Operation to get that shit out. Into the iCloud? It went. It was in there. Yeah. So you're saying they should do condoms like they do like pant sizes. Like, all right, I got like a 32 a waist. A hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. But you know, dudes be lying. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like the shoes. Are you a 10 or an 11? I'm going to be honest. I'm a nine and I've been saying I was a 10 for fucking years. Yeah. Or you hit them with, ah, it depends on the shoe. Like a Nike, I'm a 10. But Vans, 10.5. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But in women's shoes, I'm packing. Dude, there's some women's <laughs> shoes out there that I will buy. Women's shoes? Yeah, there's some fire women's shoes out there. Like I, what? I go in like Foot Locker. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we could just go in Foot Locker for fun? I was going in there a little peruse. When was the last time we went into a shoe store and bought something? With you in Syracuse. Yeah. Me, literally. I haven't worn those shoes since. Every oh. T- the first time I wore them, I bought them before the show in Syracuse. Didn't like yep. the show. Yep. And then I wore them again one other time. And then the I stepped in dog shit. Poop. Throw it out. Good theme. Amber Heard? No. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it's like, when was the last time you stepped in dog shit? Uh, I have a dog, so pretty yeah. consistent. Really? Yeah. Well, dude, my, last week. there's something about my freaking neighborhood that everyone has a dog and nobody has bags to pick the poop up. They just let it ride. God. I said the poop probably once, once a week. I'm not shitting you. <laughs> yeah, I'm luckily not. I'm in the uh, west side of town. So when I see poop, it's from a human. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's worse? It's more impressive, honestly. It is. Like, good fiber. But, but, uh. But like, what do you what do you do? You just spray them with a hose? Try to get, you can pick it out with a toothpick. Why do they call a hoe a hoe? Well, uh, like a which like one? a like a horse slut. Why do they call them a hoe? Because like hoe, a hoe, hoe, it's a, a hoe, like a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground, inch by inch, you row me. by row. What are you singing? Just some Christian song. Gonna make this garden grow. I know that part. All it takes is, that from is a rake tales? and a hoe. A who? Veggie Tales? Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales was Christian. What's Veggie Tales? You, you don't know Veggie Tales? I don't know how many times I've just had it and I didn't have cable growing up. Gabe, you know Veggie Tales. I right? know Veggie Tales, yeah. Veggie Tales, it was like uh it was a Christian animated like movie or show, but it's heavily mm-hmm. Christian based. Oh. Mm-hmm. So they were just pushing it onto the Lord pre Chick-fil-A days. Wow. Yeah. There's a, lot, there's a lot of movies that are like, hey, this is a movie. Psych, listen to. We're trying this is definitely Lord. Like Lord of, uh, not Lord of the Rings. Uh 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 Line the Witch and Wardrobe. All right. Is that religious? That Buddy, the lion, what do you think he is? He's Lord. Uh, really? Oh, re- dude, there's so many articles about it. Yeah. I know. I don't know that one. You've never- But VeggieTales was like very like- Yeah, I got I got caught off guard by it because I went to a friend's house as a kid and he was like, oh, let's watch cartoons. And I was like, I had never heard of VeggieTales before. And yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, SpongeBob or what? And he's like, nah, you got to check out VeggieTales. And then he puts it on like- It is a weird thing that if you're going to try and get people like, I don't know if it's to convert or just to play if you're already- Christian slash Catholic, but it's like you think you'd pick something sicker. You think you'd be like Johnny Bravo preaching John three sixteen. Right. Or like well, like, why why am I listening to a goddamn cucumber and be like the Lord and Savior's coming back? First of all, that's a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> you get one more tomato in there. Come on, guys. What does it say? Go up real quick, Gabe. Uh, God made you special and He loves you very much. Oh my gosh! Oh, so they don't religious. they don't beat around the bush, huh? No, 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 no. That's uh, yeah, oh they're right God. in there. Yeah. Can we play the? Cl- I just want to. You want to see it? A trailer? Something. I just want to see how how much they push the Lord. Yeah. Wow. I uh I don't remember this very much. Jonah, I don't think my mom. Oh movie. yeah, you're talking about Jonah. Yeah, I don't think my mom let me watch this growing up. In the morning. What? Nineveh? You don't want me to go there. In a land of mystery. It's always in a land. He never knows that. Yeah. In a land of horniness. Oh. The funniest thing is somebody got this audition and was like, Mom, I just, I just went out for the VO of asparagus. And they're still getting bagged up. And there are people that didn't get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been out for a lot of things I didn't get. Remember when I went was out for asparagus? A, I never went out for a piece of asparagus. I went out for a piece of broccoli. Did you really? Yep. For what? Hanes? Bird. <laughs> That's funny. No, it was a VO for that veggie company, Bird. Bird. Uh, fuck. Veggie company? They, they, yeah, they come in like frozen vegetables, bird something. Bird. You auditioned for broccoli? Yeah, I was a piece of broccoli, didn't get it. And then I I, I told you this. I was trying to be a goddamn uh, bird. They wanted me to do bird sounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, couldn't do bird. It couldn't whistle. So it's honestly impressive to me. It's so weird that I can do like accents and weird voices, but I can't fucking whistle. You would think that, you know, with my expertise in making weird sounds that I could definitely whistle. Can't. Wow. It sucks. And you could have been rich. I, dude, I felt really good about... No, I didn't. I didn't feel good about this one at all. She fucking hated me. Was that New York or LA? New York. Oh, yeah. She was furious. Really? 
Yeah, it went in 6.30. You want it 6.30, you better bring the heat. Oh, and They the want to go home. Yeah. I was, I was like the second to last one or last one. Yeah. They want to go home. They've so she this. asked you to whistle and you're just like. <sighs> well, no, I said I can't Sound whistle. Like a Prius on the gas pedal. Dude, are, do some Teslas put like like uh, car sounds? When you step on the gas, it goes, rah, 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 right? No, it's very quiet. But I think you can like implement sounds. Really? They yeah. have to do. They're, the they're re- ever heard. required to do them um, for like when you're reversing to like make noise for pedestrians and shit. What There's is it? like a noise. Like it's like a tone. I don't know. I don't know if Tesla does one, but I know like Toyotas do like a. My dad like a had a whirring. Prius and when you would reverse, it would beep on the inside of the car. Bitch, I know. I'm in the car. I had Let a Prius. Let Mavis know behind me. I had a Prius C and it made a sound. It made a beep beep. Also, inside? my Celica made a sound. What was it? Ooh, wah. <laughs> <laughs> the Celica, dude. What sound my, did it or, make? It made a beep beep sound like a fucking FedEx truck. Beep, beep. On the outside Literally. or inside? I don't know. I've never been on the outside. I'm assuming on the outside too. Damn. Well, I will say there was six gears because I was a fucking race car driver. And the, you, like, it, the gearbox is so small that I think it just wanted to let you know that you're in reverse. Okay. Because, you know, first and then th- reverse was like... First was this, and then reverse was right next to it. Yeah, yeah. So I think they just wanted to let you know that you weren't in first gear. I don't know. Can you drive stick? Uh, no. Okay. I did it like twice. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. You got to worry about hills and shit. Dude, do you know I got a car with a stick shift, and I didn't know how to drive stick? And my mom was like, do you know how to drive stick? And I was like, yeah. I'll learn. Well, no. I said, yeah. Yeah. And then she said, cool. And then we got the car, and I was like, mom, you have to drive it home. I just, if I'm driving it, I'm fine. But- being in the passenger side, it's like you're fucking constantly sucking off the air. You're just, oh, won't. Well, that every time it shucks. Well, but a lot, like if you want to speed up real quick, oh, yes, you got to get over it. It's so jerky. Yeah. How am I supposed to eat my Campbell's chicken noodle soup in the front seat of your car? Campbell, first of all, soup in general, underrated. You know what's so funny? A thermos. People what? pack a thermos for work. Well, for work, I feel crazy. like you're a big thermos guy. I am not. I'm a Broccoli big waste my soup. money on fucking food. Like an idiot. I went to the grocery store recently. Underrated. Love grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> Love a good grocery store. Wow. Dude, I haven't been. I just don't go to the grocery store anymore. I don't know why. You know what I hate is when you spend like $140 or whatever the fuck at Trader Joe's and you're looking at your cart and you're like, wow, this is so much shit. I can't wait to feed my family of two for the next eight months with this. And then you put it all in the fridge and it all of a sudden gets so small. Yeah. You're like, wait, where did it? Where did it all go? I love when you spend all that money on shit and then you're like, I'm hungry. I don't want any of this shit. Postmates. Dude, I, I, I got home last night from a show, looked at my thing and I was like, I don't want any of this stupid food I just bought God. two days ago and went to get Burger King like a child. I got, well, let me tell you something. I got a Whopper Jr. with cheese, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, bitch. All of a sudden the getting shit on the chest part makes sense. Huh? The getting shit on the chest part makes sense. Yeah. Big Burger King guy, have it your way. Yeah, have it hey. my way. Shit, <laughs> I, I am. Um, uh, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm a. I wouldn't say I'm a big Burger King guy, but I was. Forced Anybody to who's a Burger King guy in general, by association, is a big Burger King guy. You don't like Burger King at all. I mean, it's fine. Flame broiled. How do you not like it? Once they took away the chicken fries, like I just couldn't see eye to eye with them anymore. I don't. They get brought it. it back, but it just wasn't the same. I don't. It was like get a stepdad it. coming back into the picture. That's funny. First step that to come back in the picture. Bitch, I didn't want you in the picture in the first place. You come back? <laughs> or the dad or the stepdad? Oh, you said stepdad. Oh, okay. It is funny to reverse that for your mom to be like, I'm back. Thank God. <laughs> I've been eating macaroni and cheese for six years. Yeah. It is, I, you need, here's the thing. You need mom love. Mom. You have to get mom love. Yeah, oh yeah. Dad love? Eh. You can do without it. Yeah, you need the yin and the yang. You know, every time my mom would leave for like a full day or something and my dad was in charge, we had breakfast burritos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. And my dad would just claim, he's like, it's what I'm best at making. Dude, if I'm making food for my kids and I get a request. (laughs) Oh, request? You're getting a PB and J or a J and PB. That's it. And you're getting (laughs) peanut butter on both sides. Daddy, I don't want a lot of peanut butter. Shut up. I'm not making a different one. You're getting all the same. I can make grilled cheese. I can make chicken breast. I can make peanut butter and jelly, lasagna, and al- chicken alfredo. You can make chicken alfredo? Boy, stop. I mean, like, from so scratch? so fucking easy. From scratch? I can't make anything from scratch. Well, what do you, uh, how do you, just the can? Yeah. Bottle? 
Yeah, just put the Alfredo in oh, there. Oh, well, that's easy. Of course. Air fry some chicken, cut it up, put it in there. Extra goddamn. You know what? You know what? I My secret recipe that people fucking are like, wow, this tastes really good. I'll tell you the secret, guys. Okay? <laughs> when you're making pasta, uh-huh. you put butter and garlic salt in the pasta. Soup, 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 soup. Then you put the sauce in. Okay. Bitch. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You, I'm a Michelin chef. I was going to say that. Yeah. I, I used to just love butter and pasta. I'd go to a restaurant. Yes. I would make my parents leave the house for me to go to a restaurant to order butter and pasta for it's, like $13. It's fire. And my mom's like, I could have made this at home. This is two ingredients. Butter and pasta, is, it's, that's a it's go-to. It's crazy. Go-to. I, I'm a big butter and garlic salt guy. Garlic salt? Garlic salt. Okay. You're not a garlic salt guy? I don't know. What? Sure. But no. I feel like as a seasoning, maybe not. What about- Huh? What about like- a, That's the only about, seasoning that matters. Yeah, but what about like real pieces of garlic? Minced garlic. Oh, of course. I mean, that's, minced. that's crazy. But yeah. minced, there's no salt. And then sometimes when you go salt, there's too much salt, too little salt, but you have the equal parts. A lot parts of people of- salt the water in pasta. They say it like heats up the water it's quicker. It's not real. No, I think it, it, it's it changes still. the way that it, that it, the pasta tastes. It makes it saltier. Yeah, taste, but you taste better? You, well, I get that, but like people do it because it says it like speeds up the heat. I, don't, I think it makes it slower. What? Yeah. I think salt and pasta water makes it We got it Google. <laughs> Why do people yeah. salt water? A salt water. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it does help it boil faster. That's what I'm saying. Hey, no, what does it, it do? It just goes in the pods like, hurry up with his guns out. Sodium. Or the water's like, ew, this tastes gross. Let me get out of here. Adams. It the family? It improves the flavor and helps it boil slightly faster, but it doesn't really have any impact on cooking. Salt time. has so many other random side missions. Like you have a sore throat and you just fucking bukkake some salt water and you're suddenly better. Well, can you do that with ocean water? No. You sure? Ocean water can like make you sick. Have you ever seen how they make salt? It's so easy. They like literally take ocean water and then they like dry it out and then they just like scrape it down. Some no. shit in life. I'm like, this hold is too on, easy. Hold on. They, yes. That's how they get salt from ocean? Sea salt? Oh, that makes sense. Who's kosher salt? Just some uh, fucking kike? <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl with an umbrella getting salt on it, so. No, kosher salt. I know, but the Mortons, the girl on the, she's holding an umbrella. Is that kosher salt? Yeah. Oh, I thought, if for some reason in my head, kosher salt is the, the rocks of salt. That's sea salt. Oh. To get a sea salt from the sea, I'm, this is a genuine question. Yes. Well, what seed am I getting it for? From, I mean. Pacific, Atlantic, Any of them, really? The Dead Sea, the Dead Sea. You know the Dead Sea. You can fucking float in that bitch. So yeah, much I've salt. been in it. What? I've been in it. I've literally been in. The, yeah, it's. I was like, I when saw did the you people go to the Dead Sea when I went to Israel. You went to? Oh, yeah, I knew that. Birthright. <laughs> yeah, but birthright. They, I feel like just women with just big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate, dude. I I, uh, I hooked up with a girl there on a twin size bed. And she had some knockers, racks. Yes, respectfully. Rex, let me put some pasta on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was very accurate. But it was Why is fun. That? But what? Uh, Jewish women, for the most part, I'm painting with a broad brush here. Fat boobies <laughs> and tops, tops off the team. Yeah. What is that? It's a big, um, you know, I don't know. It's like waist up. It's just beautiful, you know, like a mermaid, but you know, sexual. You know what I like, or I would want to do actually. I'm really into like. You know those like long flowing skirts on ladies? Yeah. I love those. So I think I'd be into like uh, orthodox women. Because they, they always wear them long ass skirts. I just want to pick them up. What's under here? Peekaboo. Yeah. Doesn't Try that make out. sense? I ca- well, I mean, I got to ask. I can't. Well, right, right. Right, right, right. But you could tell your girl to buy one of those. Halloween, you should that, be Amish. That's hot. What? Dress up with orthodox. Is that like? Is it a she bit beats sacrilegious? Her ass with a ruler? Yeah. Is it a bit kind of sacrilegious to be like, can you dress up like an orthodox Jewish woman? Yeah, but I don't think getting shit on your chest is very religious either. I don't That's think the veggie tales would approve of that. I think anything in the bedroom, you got to just take the Lord out of it. Yeah, the Lord can't be involved unless your girl's kind of into like fucking a priest or something, and then you gotta. I I wouldn't be in. You know what's weird is I went to Catholic school my whole life, and I I'm not into the whole like nun priest? fetish. What? Well, yeah, because nuns are all old. Yeah, but, but if you a lot like a of 20... people are into like nuns, like the, the whole like nun fetish. Who? It's a lot. I mean, people. 
There's a, like I went to a sex shop with my girl in goddamn where the hell why in in Mexico. A lot of a lot of priests, a lot of nuns. Oh right, because it's I think it's anything that's like uh, construed as like good Ooh, and clean. Good. Yeah, that you turn it sexual. Yeah, that's hot. the same thing. People have cop fetishes, you know, or like a fetish for like somebody who works at like a library, like a doctor. It's like shh, my dig one more time. Shh, shut up. Um, what is the hottest thing, a hot, the hottest uh, costume to wear for a girl? Not Halloween, like uh, dress up. Role play. Role play. Yeah, that's the word I wanted. My mainstream answer is teacher, but I think there's better. Like, I would say like a slutty rainforest cafe waitress. Hot. Like, she got the, like you see like the tree frog on it, but it's like cut right under the bosom. Yeah. She's like, oh, didn't see you over there. Did you want those jumbo shrimp or do you already have one? And I'm like, check, please. Yeah. So, Coconut shrimp. Things are start fr- frill ordering. Yeah. I would want a hot, uh... Or like a NASCAR. I think a NASCAR could be hot. Like the actual car? <laughs> could be into that. No, like Dale Earnhardt Jr. <clears throat> that would be hot. No, what, what, uh... <clears throat> I, like a, I want a hot surf instructor. So a bikini? That, yeah, but I want to be, like, taught surfing. I would like to be taught, like... <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> And then she's Just like, get a group on. Yeah. And then she's like, so what do you want to do after? And I'm like, oh, no, I got to practice surfing. I don't even want to fuck. There's something about like the sandy beach. That's what I'm really saying, hot. dude. And like you're teaching me something. You're real, pa- <clears throat> excuse me, you're real passionate about it. Yeah. There's like wax everywhere. You can jerk me off with it. That's not great wax. <laughs> you don't think so? Have you ever seen surf wax? <clears throat> yeah. Dude, they, there's a, there's a, it's one of the most famous surfboard wax called sex wax. Right? I know that one. Yeah. I remember I like bought a sex wax sticker when I was in like sixth grade and I was like, this is edgy. Yeah, well, this is yeah. on the bottom of my skateboard and helmet. If one teacher sees this, you know, your boy might go to the principal's office. The principal's office was a hot place. My, princi- my principal wasn't hot, but it is, it's very much like a cop thing where you're like, ooh, I'm in trouble. How in trouble am I? Show me. Am I going to get demerits? Where are you going to put those demerits? In my cock hole? Yeah, it's cool until they pick up the phone and they go, we're going to have to call your parents. Oh, my mom got called once a week. Really? Oh, my God. What they I say? was a lunatic. It's like Michael's sitting on the footlong subs again. Just being throwing things at people. Yeah. Running in the hallways, yelling, being disruptive in class. My mom would pick up, be so pissed. I would beg Mr. Arnold not to call my mom. Please don't. She's a single mom. We haven't seen our dad in a while. Don't call. He goes, I will call your mom or father. And you go, good luck with that second <laughs> one. <laughs> I've been you trying to do the same. <laughs> yeah, I can't even do that. Um, yeah, did you ever have to, like, flip your card in, like, middle school or anything? Like, flip flip my card? Yeah, like, that was a punishment for, I think, sixth grade. It was, like, you, I don't know what happened, but it'd be, like, you would have, like, a, like, different colored cards, and each time you had to flip it to a new color, they all meant something. And, like, what? one of them was, like, detention, one of them was, like, office, but that, that was a big thing. Miss Koch would be, like, flip your card! Flip the card? I don't know. I don't know. So, Maybe so, that's just some fucking stupid suburb shit. So everyone on the, everyone in. We also had nutrition break, so. That's true. Well, Gabe had it too. Gabe, did you have this flip a card system? No, I don't remember this. Maybe it was just like a one thing, but she did cry. She made the class cry. You ever seen a teacher cry? Yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. Nobody knows what to do. It's weird, but. You're like, how do we fast forward this part? (laughs) (laughs) Is this the trailer? Um, It is weird. It's also a feeling of uh, triumph. We did it. For a split second, we did for a split it. second, but then also you're like, oh fuck, this is real. Yeah, but but this as is a, real, but as like a fifth and sixth grade, you don't have that type of empathy. That's true. It's like you just been yelling at me, throwing yeah. races at me in the entire class, and you're crying. Yeah. Good. Yeah, she's. It finally gets quiet after she's collected all of her tears, and then Devin in the back goes penis, and then just like, rips <laughs> it all again. Yeah, did you have one of those guys? All the time. I was never with a penis. All guy. the time, dude. It was this cl- the flip your card class specifically. Like, yeah. everybody popped off in that class, and that's probably why she <laughs> broke. But like, there was a big thing. We'd fold pieces of paper to be a tiny square, but it was like a V almost, and you'd fold it, and you take a rubber band, you could put it under like a mini bow and arrow, and you'd shoot it at the back of people's <laughs> calves. Because every middle school likes to just wear shorts for some reason. I was that kid. I was. It'd be thirty degrees out. I'd be wearing shorts. I'd be like, it's not even cold. I'm from Chicago. I'm not Naperville. What up? And I <laughs> shoot it at the back of somebody's like calves. And it'd be dead silent in the middle of like a movie you're watching. This kid go, fuck. 
Yeah, I was a big uh, throw pencils to the ceiling pencils guy. Pencils to the ceiling was good. Um, Tech I also, deck was big. I also was a big, uh, you know those, are they called compasses? Where they have a little golf pencil and then it's for for, for math and then a really mm-hmm. sharp end? Yep, yep, a yep, compass? yep, yep, yeah. yep. Do you, I don't know what movie I saw this in, but the, someone would take a knife and they go in between their fingers. Mm-hmm. And I was a big like take the end of the compass and try to try to go and I just when I'm bored and, and I was, loud like, try, as shit. What's up? Got to be loud as shit. Oh, so loud! But I remember once exactly. But I remember one time I stabbed I stabbed myself and mm-hmm. the teacher just told me to stop. But I was still doing it and I stabbed myself and I had to like you ever like need to cry out but you have to stifle it because you're gonna get in trouble. Mm-hmm. I just remember that so distinctly. I was like, Shit! and I just like a little bit. It, w- <laughs> it wasn't like full blood, but just a little bit of blood. Yeah, man. I used to always go uh. Fake a lot of headaches. Go to the nurse. Oh man, just kill some time, dude. Well, it would. There's sometimes the nurses office would be popping off with like nine. It would be fun as shit. Yeah, because yeah. all like the bad kids would be just hanging out and they're like, "Oh, it's not my cake." Our nurse's office was right next to the principal's office. Yeah, mine too. So you never wanted to like be seen by the same principal or anything. Oh, Our yeah. School had the weirdest rules. Like you couldn't wear baseball hats because they were like gang affiliated. You had to just wear baseball hats in general. Any baseball hat. Because somebody so would be like, the, somehow the Colorado Rockies represented the gang. The gang in our like hometown area would wear Colorado Rockies hats. Mm-hmm. So if you wanted to wear a hat, you had to just wear like a literally just like a plain hat. Like a hat that like a video game character would have. Just like some NPC shit where you're just like, I am a human with hat now. It's so weird. Yeah. Just say no hats. It was like that. Or you could wear, this was honestly on some marketing shit. They made their own hat. Oh like, yeah, you can wear a uh, merch. You can wear a uh, our hat from our school. Buy it now. Um, that, do you ever have to flip your T-shirt inside out? I remember I had this shirt with this. We've looked it up on this show before, but it's a girl. <clears> she's like sucking on a giant diamond from that diamond co. She's so hot. They they made me flip that shirt around, and you're like, oh, God, just let me wear it. Or yeah. you'd leave, and then you'd flip it back out. I never had that problem because I had uniforms my entire life. Oh yeah, yeah. They always yelled at girls for spaghetti straps. That was like the the. The principal, like, when he saw the spaghetti straps, he was like, that's it. Shut this bitch down. People got upset. Yeah, a lot of rulers came out measuring skirts. Yeah. Ours was like, it has to be where your hand mm. goes. Mm. And, like when you're standing. So if you're, you're, it, you're, it has to be longer than your fingers or something. Yeah. A lot of high school, a lot of, a lot of short skirts. A lot of short skirts. For you? No. For the, for the ladies. Short skirts, thigh highs. Sun. But that was your uniform. Yeah. Yeah, ours was ours was like yoga pants tucked into UGGs. Hot, probably, hey, really? Yeah, think about how sweaty the feet get. I for some reason I'm on board with you, but I think the UGGs. There's something about the UGGs that actually don't make your feet sweat. I don't know why. Okay, you might be able to look that up, and I don't know why, but I'm almost positive. There's something okay. about like the what are UGG boots m- made out of? Like llama. Something like that. I knew emus were made out of emus. I was pretty on brand for their name. The hell's an emu? An animal. <laughs> Is it? It's, a, it's like an alpaca type beat. What the fuck are you saying to me? Alpaca emu? Emu. It's what, an animal. What is it? They Just look like, like a, llamas. Like a hipster zebra? Uh, No, they look like llamas. Llamas are so weird. It's like a llama that rolled their own cigarette probably. <laughs> what the hell? You look at an animal, you're like, what are you for? All the time. If you killed all llamas right now, what would happen? <laughs> Nothing. You probably go to jail. Well, yeah. There's like twelve of them left, right? There's not like a lot of llamas. llamas? Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of llamas. I don't. I think they be spit. They do spit. They spit. Hey. <laughs> God damn. Buzz, buzz, buzz. What is that? That must be my Manscaped, okay? Manscaped would like to introduce you to their best and biggest ultimate hygiene bundle yet, the Platinum Package 4.0. Manscaped is the leader in the the below-the-waist grooming buzz buzz. Now, trust them with the whole shebang, Shebang. dude. Join 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com, 20% off Free shipping. Use promo code STIFF. Trev, why don't you tell them what's in the freaking hygiene bump? Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what's in the damn package. It's more than just a package. It's Whoa. a package in a package, Whoa. baby. It's a package for your package. Uh, inside, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0, which I literally just got a DM from this guy recently on Instagram. I don't know why he needed to tell me this. Loyal dude. Shout out. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Whoop. He goes, I bought my Manscaped a year ago, and the battery just now died. Dude, my battery's still hey, going, buddy. Apple, figure it out. 
I put AirPods on, they die in 13 minutes. Apple, put a Manscaped on it. That's what I'm Literally, saying. Literally, I feel the same way, dude. I don't even know where my charger is and I'm not worried because by that time next year, they're going to have the Manscaped 6.9 and I'm feeling fine. Anyways, so it's got the weed whacker, yep. waterproof. It's got LED. It's got uh, plastic on it so it won't like snip snip the old ballaroonies. It's got a nose hair trimmer, which look, you, you might huh. not think you need it, but you need it. Body wash. <laughs> it's got a, a, a premium two-in-one shampoo plus conditioner. I it's don't got know. a premium deodorant. Prop preserver. What were we saying? I was just going to say the body wash and the two uh, in one shampoo and conditioner. I cannot express to you guys enough. I use this every freaking day. It is, it's by far the best shampoo, two in one conditioner shampoo I've ever used in yeah, my entire usually life. Usually they're trash, but this one you feel yeah. like you're getting a two in one. Uh, it's, dude, it's got like anti chafing ball deodorant, crop retriever, ball, ball spray toner, anti chafing the- boxes. I mean, dude, the list goes on. Buddy, it's the summer, okay? You're going to chafe. I thought you got a lot of gifts on Hanukkah. Kick it. No. Burr, 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 burr. Go to manscaped.com. Use promo code STIFF and get 20% off. 20% off that package I just told you. That's Whoa. crazy. And free shipping. It was literally like, I don't even know why they still need to do ads. It's such a good product. Like, like pe- people go buy it. Hey. And you're trying to buy it for your boyfriend or your man or your dad. Maybe it's weird. I don't know. Dude, get it for your dad. Okay. Put a freaking design in his pubes. It's his birthday. Yeah, he go deserves corn huskers. It. Okay? So, go get 20% off and free shipping with code SOCKS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code STIFF. Goddamn. This ad is none other than Athletic Greens AG1. What is it, dude? I'll tell you what it is. Please. It's one scoop, and in that scoop, it's 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, adaptogens, yeah. words I just learned how to spell yesterday, but they're good for you, okay? Dude, it it's is, the best way to start your day, right? Start your day. Dude, it is 2022, and I said this before. I made a promise to myself that I was actually going to eat right, okay? No more freaking peanut butter and jellies. No more goddamn danables, okay? And this makes me feel like I am filling those blind spots in my daily nutrition, okay? Mm-hmm. You know why? Because it's got the superfoods. It's got the aptogens, okay? It's got the probiotics. I feel great every single freaking scoop. You wake up, you feel energized. Like, I did what I'm supposed to do. Glass of water, AG1. You feel incredible, okay? Oh, no, I do it every day. I got one of those little spinny things. Oh. Spins it up in the cup. Dude, it's fire. The quality, it doesn't taste chalky or weird like some weird... You'd think it would taste weird. It really yeah, doesn't. It does not. Dude, it's good. It's like a, it's like a smooth... Kind of like, ooh, are the greens tickling my tonsils? Yeah. I think my tonsils just did the nay-nay. Oh, shit. (laughs) Dude, Dude, it's it's really good. And the price is less than $3 a day. Buddy, and it supports better sleep quality and recovery, supports mental clarity and alertness, okay? So where is it? How do we get it? Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially head into the flu season cough cough cold season cough cough it's just one scoop in one cup of water every day and that's it okay yeah because there's no need for a million different pills and supplements no dude that look out for your health that's too much right it's annoying dude just one and done all right so look we're gonna make it easy for you we're gonna give you uh one year free supply huh of immune supporting vitamin d dude damn and five free travel packs which i bring on the road with me all the time with your first purchase all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash socks again that is athleticgreens.com slash socks to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Go do it. You don't Geico, need State Farm, buddy. No. Same joke. Are we doing the same joke right now? Uh oh. <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> Athleticgreens.com backslash socks. God damn. Yeah, I don't think you could take down a llama. They just spit at you. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Like, you know, like how Pokemon have like re- rebuttal, like my fight tactic is. Yeah. That's the weirdest. It spits on you. What would be yours? Your fight tactic. Oof. It could be anything? Yeah. I wish I could take off my eyebrows and throw them like a boomerang. That would be sick. But like they turn into like a razor and I could go. That's pretty sick. And I like chop somebody's like neck off and then I get it back. Yeah, I think I would. Um, You know Scorpion from Mortal Kombat? He yeah. has like, get over here. And he has that thing. Yeah. That little throw thing. Mm-hmm. I want that throw thing to be my cock. So I just. Get over here and just fucking so my dick could could come off and it would stab somebody and I could bring them back with my cock. Wow. Yeah. 
That's very plausible. I get in a lot of trouble with I that. know a guy. No. You don't but think would you, so? Would you do it to like, be like, I need more uh, honey mustard. Get over here. Oh, that would be fire. Yeah, yeah not to kill anyone. Yeah. yeah, but then your dick's out. Illegal. It, well, no, I don't. Yeah. For me, it wouldn't be illegal because it wouldn't be. A, it's more of like a, a, a tool at that point. What is the point of trench coats? To hold, to make sure that you don't show people too soon your cock and balls. Yeah, I was thinking like flashing. It's just. It's it. The trench coat. I don't know. The trench coat in New York is kind of big because the uh, the whole like rain thing. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Trench coat. Uh, dude, I had one trench coat in my like life. Phoenix? Fire. Really? Oh, weird. Yeah. yeah. They, you look. I mean, it's a, it's a cool look. Uh, or it's like a pea coat. Uh, it's a very collected look. It's slightly different, but yeah. New York has so much fashion. I know. It's so fun. But it's like you don't have anything else flashy to show because you're just walking around. Right. That's not your car. Your outfit is that. Yeah. That's why you get like a nice North Face. But also, you get, you get to a temperature, too, where everyone's like, no one gives a fuck. Summer? Just get. No, I'm just saying, like, it's so cold that no one's even looking at what people are wearing. All it's like, right. let's get into a thing and then. There's, there's women that are, like, absolutely gorgeous with, the, like, the dopest outfit, like, underneath. But just the biggest, grossest, weirdest coat because it's just, just warm. And then you get into the thing and then it's like. Yeah, probably never shaving the legs, no? I, I, dude, yeah, you, months? you'll run into some prickly pears. I'll tell you what. Prickly pear. but, yeah. But then again, you're like, it's 14 degrees. In. Yeah. You also like, it's. I don't know I was going to bang my Postmates driver. Now here we are. Too much. Buckle up. Welcome to the jungle. It kind of turns into a little bit of a like, kind of Russian doll type action when you're what fucking, when oh, it's that the, cold. The because layers. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's so many layers. You take another layer off as a guy in there. Hey, how you doing? You're take like, him what? Off. Hey, it's my cousin. <laughs> um, But there's like. I would wear what are they called? Like under under fucking Under Armour? Eh, not Under Armour. They go under, long Johns? Thank you, sir. I'll wear long johns. And it's like yeah. it's really weird to get like hot in the moment when you're wearing long johns. Oh yeah. Because you take the boots off. The whole thing. The jeans off. Yeah. Because once you take the jeans off, it should be time to go. But then you take the jeans off. Then the long Then you gotta take jones, the long johns off. Then the chassis then, belt. Yeah. It's a whole thing. You gotta keep it horny. We start singing. Start freestyling. When I take and things are also like moist a lot of moisture yeah you're walking around with all those fucking layers on yeah, new york feels like there's like a giant bubble over it it never really airs out it no it, there's there's not a time like, to you know, air walk out. into a house party and it just feels like yep. w- wet air yeah you can literally cut it with a knife for real yeah, like you want to like you want like the weird part of like bushwick you go to some fucking party and I don't know what it is, but some of these hipsters are like, B.O. is where it's at. And you walk into some of these parties and you go, dog, is there an emu in here? It's horrible. I think it's a lot of times it's like natural uh, deodorant. You know, it's like better for the earth and it's better for your body, but it doesn't work. I just got a a thing of deodorant recently. It like, dude, Old Spice was tearing my shit up. There was an also, article. There was an article that was literally like, you can get money back if you use Old Spice between like 2017 and 2018. Like, they're fucking really? people up. Oh, it can't be good for you. It's got like m- m- metal in it, Metallica, the band is in it. <laughs> but no, it's got like a bunch of shit in it, like fucks up my armpits if you use it a lot. So I got some like natural shit. And I'm like, this is great. I don't feel any pain. You know, it doesn't burn at you all. You had pain? Like, it just feels like raw. Like almost. raw. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember I went swimming in the ocean and it, I could like, like the salt against it was oh, like fuck. fucking me up. But I got this more like, I got it from some care package from some company. Right, right, right. And I used it and I was like, dude, this doesn't hurt at all. This is great. Two hours later, I smelt like the inside of Amber Heard's goddamn trailer. Like it was, I feel like it was in a damn sleeping bag. It didn't, like it didn't, it doesn't, uh, the, like Old Spice yeah. is number one for a reason. Right. Cause it fucking works. That's where I'm at. Here's the thing. If you're gonna if you're gonna clog my pores, if I'm gonna put it on, I just want it to work. Everyone's like, it's really bad for you. I'd rather it be bad for me and work than it like not because right, what's but, the what's the point of doing it? No pain. But I but I don't want to smell. That's the point. You know, my dad doesn't have to wear deodorant. That's so it's just that short. Do I got? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's like, he's six foot. Um, Is he really? Yes, I I said I told you. I don't my mom is five that. seven. My dad is. I think my dad's six foot six one. I picture him like the height of like <clears throat> Kirby. Nah, nah. Big Big Kirby like pink Kirby from yeah. Yeah. Smash Bros. Not the size, but height. Height wise, yeah. Big Jew, six tall foot? Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could he beat your ass now? Yeah. Nah, I fuck him up. <laughs> At what age do you think that, that flipped? 
That he, I think he I think he realized it probably when I was like the the Celica days. Pro- yeah, but I was like when I had a tongue ring, he was like, "Whoa!" This yeah, but also dangerous. that might that might be the opposite. You know, mm-hmm. you're all talk, no game. He's never been in a fight, and I think he just kind of takes that into consideration. So, what age are we thinking? I think probably like eighteen, nineteen. Okay, where he was like, "Well, that was about the time we would like go to the gym together, and I'd and I'd like register exactly how much weight he was lifting, and I was like, this is fucking bitch, talk, <laughs> just doing power squats in front of him." In the parking lot. <clears throat> nah, he would. I mean, he 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 can lift, but it's like, I think once he put together like the my willingness to fight, and then also like probably a little stronger than him, I think that's when he was like, nah, all right, well, this is my son. I don't need to like prove anything to him at some point. But that's got to be a weird. W- one of the crowning moments of my life is when I shoved my sister on the ground. And I was like, oh, shit has turned. Why'd yep. you do that? I was in sixth grade. She was in eighth grade, and she always used to beat my ass. Oh, yeah. Lead with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't just a random... Self-defense. Yeah. You can't just out of the blue be like, I used to shove my sister to the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we were like kids or whatever. Right, right. Kids. And then, yeah, she used to beat my ass all the time because she like... Women be hitting puberty way faster. And she was also two years older than me. And that one moment where she came at me and I grabbed her fucking t-shirt and threw on the ground. And the look on her face, dude, it was the best moment of my life. She looked at me. She was like, this like look of just in shock. Then you immediately went to Claire's and got a tongue ring. You're like... Fuck yeah. I am alpha man now. Oh, yeah. Wow. I wish I was there for that. Me, I wish I had it in NFT. Because yeah. I would just watch it for that. Which, oh, God, jerk off to it. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Good for you, man. Yeah. Well, speaking of alpha, I never finished up the whole bachelor party thing. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. Got off some tangent talking about dads, school days. Hey, come on, Mr. Beast. Um, one thing I'll say about the bachelor party, a lot of dudes. What's okay. With, what's with all the sausage fest, dog? Where are the chicks at, dude? What if our, I just didn't know ba- how bachelor our, parties work? <laughs> our bachelor parties. It's all the cock, dude. Our bachelor party's supposed to. Yeah, it's just dudes. Well, if, no. well like so, sometimes like the single guys go off and like when you go out to the bars and they'll try to like bring girls back or something. Does that but even it, happen? On the last night, I think I think two dudes. I'm, dude, I'll, I'll say what I'd say out of the, like fifteen people there, I think like two of them were single. Oh, yeah. everyone. Was... No, I just thought it'd be funny if a guy didn't know how bachelor parties work. And he's like, dude, I flew to fucking Scottsdale for a bunch of fucking dudes. This shit sucks. Can we at least start powerlifting? I can't believe they didn't even fucking invite one fucking chick. Yeah. All right, now let me do a key bump off the Slim Jim and get to it. I will say this is a video I probably want to make and I think it'd be really funny. It's like, uh, have you ever been to a bachelor party? Or like something like that? There's always a group chat. Oh, yeah. And the, and the bachelor party group chat is like, one of those like toxic, like it's like the same guys who like send a gif in like the office Slack and they're like, this guy's hilarious. And like it's, everybody in there was like, I hate that. It's shit. like sending a photo of like Stone Cold Steve Austin. They're like, me Friday night, me when I land at Phoenix International, me fucking women. And then you get there and every guy is like, ah, you know, my, my stomach hurts a little bit. I'm probably going to take tonight off, you know? <laughs> it's just such a fun, like every guy is just going off. Yeah. I'm going to drink all the alcohol in Phoenix, so we got to go over to Nevada to get booze. And then <laughs> every guy's just like, did anybody bring Tom's? It's like, this is not, yeah. who are we doing this for? I'd like an Almer Palmer, please. Yeah. Th- there was a group chat for the bachelor party for my brother in Vegas. And the, uh, the, the whole thing is one person was organizing to get all the rooms at the, at like picking the hotel and like booking all the rooms. Um, and then it turned into a fight in the group chat because they weren't sure if one, one of the rooms was like smoke friendly, like they could smoke weed in there. And then it turned into a fight between these two guys of like who smokes more weed and if it was okay to like have to go downstairs oh, to smoke weed. It's so good. Yeah, it's it's just like nothing gets determined in those group chats. That's really it. Well, dude, that's why every group chat I've ever been a part of, it doesn't have to be a bachelor party thing. Just like if, if you see a bunch of people in a thing and I'm in there, I will never read one. Yeah. And I'm I, maybe I'm an asshole, but I'm just like I never – there's one I have in New York where I'll read it every now and again, and it's some of the stuff is funny. But whatever. if it's those like keep up with people, then I get it. But these are like twenty people that mm-hmm. will never probably, you know, half people will never see each other again. It's like half of your friends from work and half of your family and friends. Like I don't know half these people. Yeah. And now we're all of a sudden forced to communicate in a group chat where they're like, "What's up? Anybody want to go to the airport?" <sighs> yeah, hey, Trevor, I know you're going to twelve oh one. Trying to carpool? I don't. I'm in pain, man. I don't, um, I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 funny. no, no, no. I think, uh, yeah, no, I, I think if you just force a, but it's a weird situation, the group chat, because it's like, it's like you're forcing everyone in a party, but it's not a party yet. 
and you're not like it's so right. hard. You know what I mean? It's so hard to communicate. Well, there's always there's like the characteristics in each group chat. It's like the fucking the ringleader, the alpha dog, the guy who can out drink everybody, the guy who's on day four giving you a spray tan. You know, uh, the guy who who has been to that city before and he's like, I know all fucking spots. It's just like <laughs> everybody. Then it's like I'm just like I don't I don't know where to get in here. I don't. Does anybody bring a sunscreen? Please help. Yeah, yeah, and there, it's it is that weird you mentioned before. It is that weird like no, I'm I'm the alpha. No, I'm the alpha. No, but I'm nobody the knows alpha. each other. It's right. It's like the, the the quietest kid in the group can drink a bottle of Jim Beam. He'll be fine. So also, don't you want to just text like, don't? No one has a job. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Yeah, but but at I get, eleven a.m. Yeah, I, I think they're just fucking excited. They're just like fired up, just working corporate their whole life, and they're like, I'm just gonna block out. So it's just funny to to. I just want to screenshot the text and show them like, this you. When they're puking night one yeah. off two Michelobes, this you? Yeah, you're wearing corduroys. This is you? <laughs> I like corduroy. I like but corduroys too. Also, dude, it was like 115 out. Insane. It's not real. Yeah, it's not real. The worst is like when you meet people who are from that city, like people in Phoenix. There were some guys from Phoenix that were at the bash party. And they're like, dude, 106 isn't even that bad. I'm like, well, who are we doing this for? Also, 106, I don't give a fuck if you're from Phoenix or not. What You're not a lizard. But why do people have to like be like, oh, this isn't even bad? It's hot. It's hot to me, then it's hot. You think I'm over here lying? I don't, this is what I don't like about human behavior. I'm sweating this, for my toenails. This is you, this is me. Right, but that's this what is it feels you, like. Me. No. Like, I can't walk outside and be like, God, it's too hot to drink. Somebody's like, you don't, you don't know hot weather. My cousin actually lives in Grand Rapids. <laughs> it, it gets wild out there. I hate, I don't like people. Where is Grand Rapids? Michigan? Michigan. I don't think it gets hot there. It, well, yeah, Bad I think example. It's summertime probably gets hot. Yeah, but it's just so funny to be like, D this isn't hot. Really? When do you think it is okay to stop being like, oh, like your value is based in how you drink, how much you oh, drink? I mean, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's such a weird thing where you go, how are we still doing? Twenty five. Yes. Twenty five. Yeah, know? dude. Because like we went out. I think that's a good. I think we that's went good. Out, like every dude, we went out a lot. Sick flex, hey, <laughs> air horn, bow, 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 bow. and like, dude, I really, I, I don't really ever go out. And I'll tell you what, looking around, I was like, oh, these, these motherfuckers look like, like they turned 21 14 minutes ago. Like, I, like, I didn't, I, I don't really feel old by any yeah, sense. Yeah. You know, but like, I was like, oh, am I, what the hell? Yeah. Am yeah. I at that age? Yeah. Am well, I tapped out? Well, dude, yeah, you start looking around, you're like, fuck, everyone who goes out, <clears throat> dude, I felt like that, I was in, this is so like, I don't have enough puka head. shell necklaces to wear. I, I used to wear two. Yeah. <laughs> you start, yeah. You start looking was, around, you go, everyone's skin looks awesome. Yeah. You're six years old. Dude, I was in, C, <laughs> I was in CVS yesterday, and it's, I forgot it's the summertime, so it was a Sunday. I was there late after a show, picking up something for my girl, and it was popping off. Yeah. And I was like- I feel like everyone's dead. I was like, everyone go home. It's Why you guys Sunday. out? Yeah. It's Sunday. And it was like, it was you, exactly what you said. It was like, it was like 15, 22 year olds and they're all like buying liquor. It was like the first bottle of liquor they ever bought. And they're just like raising hell in there wearing like no clothes. Yeah. And I'm like, everyone get home. But that was also me, you know, like it's, of course. it's summertime, you know? <clears throat> I know. That was me going to like our one friend Eric's house. His dad didn't give a shit. He was hardly ever there. We could drink at his house. One guy had a fake ID. We go to a CVS. And, or like if there was a guy in the group who'd buy it for us. And it is weird that your instinct is like hate on you. Like, Whoa, what the fuck are all these goddamn? And you're like, oh, well, there it is. I'm, I'm old now. I'm this, old guy. But this is what it is. That feeling of everyone go home, leave me alone. I'm like slightly scared. I just need to buy this USB cord. That's also full of me being like, fuck, I wish I was y'all. I don't want your life. Right. But I wish I had that moment of being like, just reckless abandonment. I don't have anything that I'm in charge I of. I do. I do for like a day. <clears throat> yes, of course. But that's what it was for this weekend. I was like, dude, I just want to fucking just do it. Throw some beers back with the bros. Yeah. Just bro down. Yeah. And it, it and it, this is wholesome. This is mature Trevor. It's like it was just dudes. You, you don't got to worry about some random women coming up and you're like, eh, shoo shoo. I'm leave me alone. Yeah. I'm in love. Leave me. Yeah. There's just a bunch of dudes and there's just like no. There's nobody there to be like, well, what are we doing for lunch? Is is anybody gonna order something? I'm getting kind of hungry. Yeah, it was just it was just. Let's just say it. There's no feelings. <laughs> There's too many feelings. It was. Let's just, sit down and talk. No, there was. Are you hungry? Order a pizza. Be a fucking dude. <laughs> yeah. I What'd mean, you guys eat? 
It, I can't wait. It of course terrible. you did. Dude, because obviously I'm gluten-free. What am I going to tell the group chat can't. of fucking alpha males who all have nautical star tattoos on their foreheads? <laughs> I'm just going to be like, yeah, hey guys, make sure to get gluten-free <laughs> options. I didn't tell anybody that. So I'm literally, they ordered a pizza one night. I'm scraping the cheese off it like I'm racking up lines of dairy. I ate a lot of lunch meat. I, I made a lettuce wrap burger, which was phenomenal. Wow. But it was like, I, I, I lived like I was back in college again. Like yeah. I was just scrounging for food here and there. I got a bite to eat at one of the bars. And then it's just like, it was nice to just not think and just be like, life is simple again. Who wants to play a game of beer die? A little bit of beer pong. Yeah, dude. That's what. That's the part when I was in CVS. I was like, God, that's the piece of it that I missed where I'm like, yeah. dude, I'm not worried about rent. I'm not worried about my fucking T-Mobile bill. Right. I'm not worried about is someone mad at me? I'm not worried yeah. about numbers right now. Mm -hmm. They're just being like, my mission is to get this Grey Goose bottle and to hopefully not get HPV tonight. Yeah. Like, that's the two goals. Right. So it just felt very simple. So yes. I, I will say that. It was it was fun to just get it out. Do I feel great today? No. Not you, you feel like under the weather type? Or you I, don't, like I don't know. Just a whole lot of... I, like, like, I feel like a pair of shoes after going to a concert. Like, it's still a pair of shoes, but you look at it and you're like, what the fuck happened to you? Yeah, you used to be Air Force One. It's like I'm like sunburned, I'm itchy, I have bug bites. I'm like, I don't look great. I can't believe you have so many bugs. I put on a button up today to, to really try to- You look to good. Th thanks, man. I think you look adorable. Had I had a tank top on right now, you'd be like, how is there a beef jerky sitting in this chair next to me? <laughs> beef jerky, underrated. It really is. Everything underrated this podcast. That's a real thing somebody said at the, uh, the bachelor party. Somebody went, do you want to have some of this hot beef jerky I got at the gas station? It's fire. Yeah. If my girlfriend ever said that sentence to me, I'd be like, are you the Terminator? Where did my girlfriend go? It, yeah, I don't know. I, so, uh, I I got to live just like a piece of shit again, which was nice to. Yeah, but there, there, there is a there's a limit to how many days you can do a piece of oh, shit. Oh, yeah. hundred percent. How did you? Because my brain is just. Dude, if I smoke weed or like have one day of drinking, my brain is fried. For me, the first day of hangovers is the worst. And then day two and three, if I continue it, they're just not. I don't know if it's just a part of my body now, but like day two, I woke up, I was like, yeah, I can do this again. Day three, really? I was like a little hazy, but it's always the first after drinking for day one, the next day is shit. But then it's kind of just like, I don't know. It's, it's like, um, you know, what's that shit when the ball hits and then it's like on a yeah, pendulum like a, and it hits the other yeah. one. And with each hit, it gets slower and slower and slower and slower and slower. Yeah. I'm an alcoholic. No, but I think <laughs> if, but yeah, I don't know. I, ju I just felt like uh, it's just not as bad the second or the third day. But it was nice because there was a pool and all that. So you're like, you're doing shit. But oh, yeah. But did there's you, activities, I think. Oh, you guys like did, did things. Yeah, we did some things. Did some things. Oh, really? I wouldn't, I'm a big don't want to do anything. I'm yeah. a big like, well, let's like, eat burgers, sit by the pool. It was like all shit like that. It was like one day we just hung out by the pool and played like drinking games. And the next day we went to a pool party that was in downtown oh. Scottsdale. But like that, that was the day where I forgot I chased a shot of tequila with a chicken nugget. What did you just say to me? I, I said it right. Okay. Yeah. You chased- Tyson chicken nugget. Okay. Crunch, crunch. Out yep. the air fryer. Yep. Tequila, boom, boom. That's something that if my girlfriend saw me doing that activity, she'd probably leave me. Yeah. She'd probably leave me and file a police report. I don't know. Or bang you. That's a high <laughs> Somebody. Thing. You know what I mean? Somebody at the pool party was like, this guy. Yeah. This guy gets it. But Protein that, instead of electrolytes? <clears throat> fucking alpha male. But that is so funny. Like in college, the dude who like won beer pong, women looked at him and were like, oh my God. Or, or the guy who would chase stuff with absurd stuff. My buddy, he was, probably still does this. He's one of my best friends, but he's the biggest tool I know. He would like take <laughs> a shot and then would chase it with like a raw egg and be like, ha ha. But when is now that- Now you make out with a girl and give her salmonella? What the hell's going on? When is that not- Like there is- And I think you- it's the same you, thing. It's like, like, it's like 25, right? It's like yeah. that same thing where you're like, I can fucking drink a gallon of blah, blah, blah. It's like, buddy- Right. Go get a fucking job. I think at 25. You get those extra two like uh, laps after college where you're trying to collect things and figure it out. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But it, but it was nice to just be around a bunch of dudes who aren't like, what the fuck is wrong with Trevor? I mean, if it was a random night and you were chasing with chicken tenders- Right. They'd be like, Okay, this is somebody get peed on the phone. But since every, it was like this bachelor party, everybody there was like, this guy's a fucking legend. It like brought <laughs> us back to those days. Right. So I like the simplicity of it. It felt very like just like um like caveman. It's just like I yeah. see alcohol, I drink, I go yeah. oots, 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 Sim oots dude, at nightclub. Simplicity. Yeah. Simplicity's fucking I do it. But I, there is I remember one time I was at the uh airport and I overheard these two this one couple talking to the bartender and they were just like they were just really going off about how much they had to drink and they were like Probably like 
mid 30s. Yeah, some people never escape. And I'm which like, is fine. That's your guys, vice, guys, 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 yeah, guys. Yeah. This is, has to be, you have two kids. Like at some point. Yeah. Some you, people never really lose that. There, there's definitely some people who I know who still talk like that. They'll be like, oh, yeah, I crushed 16 IPAs last night and still made it to my daughter's T ball game. You don't have a daughter, Frank. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Look, I'm not here to judge, but it is. It, it was nice. It's fucking yeah, alpha, alpha male. Yeah. Fuck yeah, brother. I, I dude, I, I see the appeal. I, but I got it out of me and I feel good about it. And now so, I'm like, back to work. So, podcast how, about semen. So, so how, like, do, do you think you have, like, oh, I need that in another year? Or you're like fulfilled? No, I'm fulfilled. I think okay. it was great. There's one night, but it's like, there's one night, I think we stayed up till like 4 a.m. just blasting old, it was like probably 15 guys in like the basement, just blasting old R&B songs. Fuck. Oh, playing, I'm in. We were playing like Men in Black. We were oh. just like, you forgot how fucking good this is, dude. We were playing all the jams and like everybody was like suggesting different stuff. And one guy like had it on the phone and everybody's just bonding over all this. That's so funny. sober. You know, you're like, this is interesting. You know, there's a little interesting going on here. But like, you had some booze in the mix and everybody's like, dude, I forgot about this music video. Do you guys remember Boys to Men? We were playing Boys to of Men too. Of course you were. Dude, we were, dude, all the jams. Just the horniest songs, but all dudes. It is just, up. it is just so funny. It's that fucking TikTok thing where it's just like, your girl thinks you're doing. Oh yeah. 100%. And it's like, yeah. Yeah. No, I woke up the next morning and my Spotify playlist had like five new R&B songs that I was like, <laughs> what happened last night? And I was just like, oh yeah. Dude, There's the some what, fucking heaters in there. The what happened last night sometimes is so horrendous, but sometimes it's like, what happened last night? Like, it's like, oh, it's it like, a, like, a, like cool. Right. No, it felt good. It felt, uh, it was one of those where you were like, no, that was genuinely fun. Yes. Yeah. I mean, dude, we were playing some songs. I can't say, ugh. let me, I don't know. I don't I believe I can fly. By, yeah. By a guy whose name we're, we shouldn't uh, appreciate. I right? believe but, I can dude, fly. Dude, here, I'm not, I'm not saying stream his music. Right. But if you want to stream this, put that song on with some noise canceling headphones. I mean, it's the closest your body will feel to levitating. Yeah. Like, the, the, you'll start to weep. It's holy. You will literally start to weep. I thought I just graduated high school again. Whoa. It, Someone like, goes, do you need some ketchup for your bra words? No, I'm using my tears. Dude, it's insane. It On got, a good speaker system, the buildup? Dude. I, be, I like, I, hey. Let me tell you something. Not a great guy, but. I'll listen to that and I'll, I'll believe in God. I'll believe in oh, God. Oh, yeah. I believe I can fly. Hold up. Ka, ka. <laughs> you know, there was parts of when I was in New York, when I was like trying to get all zen out and I had this friend who's like really into energy. And I literally was like, I looked at her dead serious and I was like, I think if I meditate enough, I could fly. <laughs> I was like dead serious. Really? Yeah. Dead serious. I, I, what, what did the energy is, person say? She it literally, she was like, I believe you. I'm telling you, man, I know I make fun of like witch and energy and all that kind of stuff. And I think I make fun of it because I believe in it a lot. Yeah. I really do believe that I, if I like try, I, I, have, I have powers. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know what power Dead I serious. got. Dead serious. Dead serious. I don't know what power I have, but I think I have something. I feel a bubbling sometimes. I don't know what the power is. I feel like you'd be good at this and don't let this guy screw up too much. You know how people say there's like that catastrophe strength? Like if a car flips on somebody, you could flip it over. Yeah. I think you could do that. I, I think I could too. But like a decent sized car. Hatchback maybe. Whoa. Like a Mini Coupe or like something bigger? Mm, like a Ford bigger. Focus? A Ford bigger. Taurus? Yeah. Whoa. A Malibu? But, uh, maybe. That's pushing it. Yeah. Trans Am? I don't think they make Trans Ams anymore. I don't think but so. I hear you. Because I, I, I have a screw loose. Maybe two. Plenty. Yeah. And then something, if something, yeah, I think I could. If like Gigi was underneath like, you know, like a Bronco, I'd lift that bitch up. Broncos. I want to, have you seen the them? The new Broncos? Dog. Kind of sick. They are sick. I just want to drive one just so I can be like validated. Like, yeah, speed shit. The interior is walking. very average. Well, like. When I was looking for a car, I was actually looking at a Bronco. The interior is so garbage. you see like garbage. a sick car and you're like, wow, that looks fire. And then you drive and you're like. It doesn't really do anything for me. Because for me, I'd rather like agility, speed, like Yeah, quick you turns. feel like you're driving like a milk crate. I'm like, I, I need something to right. hit the... You're yeah. like, this is... Because my first car besides a Honda Civic, the car that I drove, that I got a speeding ticket in, uh -oh. doing 90 and a 65 on an Whoa. open beach road, was a Toyota Highlander. And dude, that bitch has some pep in it. Okay. Hey, pet boys, we do everything for less. Is that what they say? No. Pet, pet boys, boys leading we, the way. Nope. That's not pet it. Pet boys, we do... Everything to you. What is it? Somebody. 
Pet Boys does everything. Pet Boys. Pet Boys does everything. It, they just leave. They leave you hanging. Does everything. They, they have. Yeah. It has to what be something. What type of entrepreneur shit are they on? Anyways, but like it just like it's every car that I've driven that's like a bigger SUV feels like that. I'm like I don't. I, you know what car I want to drive is that Lamborghini SUV. That I mean that that's yeah. just fuck you money. I it's it, it's not that expensive. I don't know. I have no idea. How it's two hundred twenty five k. I mean that's light work, dude. <laughs> sir, sir, I've seen you turn down cheese on a burger because it was twenty two <laughs> cents. Have, you didn't pay a dollar for an OnlyFans. I did not pay. No, I, no I'm, I'm I'm so kidding. I'm so weird. Two twenty five is is two twenty five is wild. I'm crazy. I'm just joking. It's wild. It's crazy. I mean, it's yeah. I don't know, but that's why when I see somebody with that car, yeah, knowing that they could have gotten an actual like a like a just a regular Lamborghini versus that, I'm like, that's just like you're like, ah, that's just fuck you money. So the Lamborghini truck is a, is less or more than an actual Lamborghini? I think it's about actual, the same. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I think it's probably the same as like a baseline, like normal, like racing looking one. But you can't get that, man, because that, you, you no, have one you, oil change and it's like 17 k well, that and also every speed bump in like a Ralph's parking lot just wrecks your car and you hear... Yeah, can you imagine parking that somewhere? You're yeah. like, I wouldn't park it anywhere. Too much responsibility. Yeah. I don't like it. I'm out. I'm out. It's funny when there's things. That's like what I do on Zillow. It's house is like $10 million. I'm like, ugh, no front yard. I'm out. Can't can, can afford it. No. I'm about, I'm about to move. Are you? With mama? Tufan Blaustein is moving in with mama. Mama wants companionship. Mama wants Zillow. And let me tell you something. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited. Really? <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at some places. We're looking at maybe like same part of town. Same part of town. I'm living in now. What are you guys doing? Little apartment or townhouse? So we're looking at townhomes and apartments. Uh, we're looking at probably two to three bedrooms. There you go. And we're trying to get like the the combination because she likes the super modern shit. Yeah. And I like more of like a lived in feel. Really? So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the the way like my place feels right now. Yeah. Kind of like a. You Why know, is that? Uh, I, I think, love that modern shit. Fucking flat tones house. It's just the same flat, shape as a shoebox. Fire me up. Ah, flat tones. I just, I, I feel like I'm in a Sheridan Inn. Really? Yeah. I feel like I'm in a hotel room. You don't feel that way? No. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a hotel room. I feel like I'm like, whoa, who's going to make my bed? Not me. Where's, where's the person that's going to come in? Okay, my bed? so do you guys have a date already or you guys found a place? Oh, you're. August. Hold up. Yeah. You guys August. having a move in party? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're definitely, dude, once we move in, we're going to. So, do you guys find a place or you're just like, we are putting our, in our notice and then we're moving in? We're putting in our notice. She's going to, she's going to rent because she owns her place. So, she's going to rent her place. Um, and I'm still deciding if I'm going to rent or just give my place up. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, we're moving studios this month. So, I fucking do not want to move right, right now. So, we're going to do August. Wow. But yeah, we're already, she, she sent me some Zillows this morning. Um, but yeah, we're go we're gonna try to get the middle of the road where it's like a lit like kind of old bones, but it's updated. Does that okay. makes sense. Okay. So like the kitchen and everything is gonna look like you know your kitchen. Like it's gonna it'll it have like all the updates. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We we talking parking in this bitch? Oh, we're, oh we're talking John. garage. Hold up. No, Isn't that crazy? That's my first question nowadays. Like, is there a garage? Well, dude, my girl's like I can't. She's like I have. She's not very picky, but she's like I need. A dishwasher, a disposal, and parking. Because I have none of that at my place now. You? Sure. None. Yeah. Yeah, no disposal. Yeah. Yeah. No dishwasher. No parking. The, but Well, also, parking for a lady is tricky, it's too. Different. If, yeah, if they got to go to work yeah. at like 6 a.m., you got to walk yeah. the streets of, you know, Hollywood yeah. that early. Can't. Little then you, sauce. Then you look like you're working the fucking streets. Hookers. And you can't put that on your 401k. You or could. Or can you? You could. Wow, good for you, man. Are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. If you if you have space for your own like office, she can have an office type beat. Well, yeah. So right. we're looking at two or three bedrooms. The two bedrooms, and I I didn't force this on anyone. I would like to say, but the two bedroom will be like the other room will be my office. But if we're doing, I, I would love to get a three bedroom so we can all have our own offices. So if like yeah. we're taking calls and shit, because like we we both work from home, so taking calls and someone not having their own office. Well, is also nightmare. I don't know like what. Oftentimes, I don't know the level of importance of a call. And if she's on a Zoom call, half the time she's like muted and her screen's dark. Yeah. I can walk by in my boxers. I'll be like, hey, what's going on? I'm doing jumping jacks and silk and a silk nightgown. Yeah. But then sometimes I like open the fridge and she's like, fuck, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Put the blueberries down. I'm like, but I want a goddamn blueberry. Yeah. You, first of all, you said it in your sleep. Yeah. You woke up. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I think maybe we should 
we it's bo- hot in here. A little bit. Yeah. I, you know what I think? I think we should have the little, you know, the card system you had in school? Car- yeah. Flip the card over, red and important, yeah, green, yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I have the same thing. Like, yeah. just sometimes where I'm like, mama. And she'd be like, oh, hey, it's baby, whatever. Because the screen's dark. And then yeah. sometimes I'm like, hey, but she's like, fucking, I, this is, I'm like, but it's also, I know it's Barclays on the phone. Yeah. Well, it's also, we're going into like uh, year three of the pandemic. I think people are used to seeing some weird shit in the background. A hundred percent. Yeah. Dude, literally everyone on the Zoom calls knows Greta already. Yeah. She just like, you were like, being excited to see me. I had value. Yeah. Your, your client needs to see me. You want to watch TikToks? TikTok? Hey. I thought it was a clock. Clock. All right. So uh, it is getting hot. It's hot. I think they just turned off the. I don't know what's happening. I know I'm really sunburned from this weekend. So I, I don't did, know. If no, like, I just got hot too. Dude, sunburns are such a pussy thing to have like pain about. What? Oh, sunburns. Sunburns. You like roll yeah. over in bed and your back like crinkles and you're like, oh. It, is, it, this it hurts me, though. Dude, I would it's not. It's literally burned. I would make it probably half a day on Survivor. I wouldn't do it. No. I swear to God, I wouldn't do it. Naked and afraid, cancel it. You wouldn't do that one? I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't do any. I, dude, I don't want to be in the Amazon with my dick out. Yeah. Some snake just swallows my cock whole. That was a good jalapeno popper. Hey, it's more than that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, guys, let's do a sock talk. Sock talk. We have do a, you love feet? We have a submission yes. here from Hannah, and she says, I, know. I have Hannah a question. Montana. Uh, sometimes when I give my boyfriend that good head, What's uh, that? And she says, insert Trevor making the gluck gluck sound. Blow jobs, dude. Uh, after, after he finishes, he stays rock hard. Almost like he didn't come, but he yep. did. We Blue tested show. it, and he can't come again afterwards, but he still stays Brain hard. Her. He always says that that was the best BJ of his life when it happens. Has this ever happened to you guys? I've never heard of it happening, nor has it ever happened with another guy I've blown, so I'm curious. Uh, Yes. I will be the first to say that I stay, when I come, I stay hard. For a, I don't know how long a while is, but I say I stay hard for like ten minutes afterwards. What? Yeah. Go to a doctor. Oh, what or, do you do with or it? Or call the Guinness Book of World Records. What do you do with it? Put a bunch of rings on it, like that one game. I hang my coat on it. Whoa. Yeah. Coat hanger. Cock hanger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, my cock stays pretty hard afterwards. Wow. That's when I was younger. I would I could come and then keep fucking as if I didn't come because I would come in 17 seconds and then pretend but, I didn't come. So what happens if you try to keep it going now? Uh, like keep fucking afterwards? Yeah. Um, I've only had to do that once, but it's still, I mean, it still works. It doesn't feel awesome for me. But can you can. finish? Say again? Can you finish? Oh, the second time? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not coming again. I'm very oh. similar to this dude. Oh. I'm not coming again. Is it just like after you run the marathon, you cross the tape and you keep running? Yep, yep, yep. I do like done. the 400 yard and then just keep kind of because I'm like warming down. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what the evolutionary part of it, but I- BlueChew.com, promo code stiff socks. What is it? Say socks? Socks, I think, yeah. Promo code socks. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be worried. I mean, I, I think it's just that's just what his cock does. I, I would actually ask if yeah, like- be thankful it doesn't do the opposite. Dude. Get soft. Pretty nut. Soft midway through. Happens. Soft nut. You ever like come Twice. when you all right when your your dick is like at seventy three percent? You're yeah. like, hold up. The only time it's ever well, happened is when I'm jerking off. Yeah, yeah. When I need to like, I'm like, hey, let's go. I got to get it out. They literally have me like two I days. I got to get out of this day. I'm just like, ah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Hannah, yeah, nothing to be ashamed of. No, I mean that's that's great. Ain't no shame in that neck game. Yeah. Hold well, on. it sounds like this is a way that they know. She's like, she knows when it's a good blowjob because this only happens when it's really good, apparently. So, oh, 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 so, oh wow. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, sometimes uh, you're super into a girl, you just get rocked up. I mean, I think there's the same thing with a girl. Sometimes she gets wet. Sometimes they get wet, wet. Sometimes they get like moist or whatever. And it's very similar. Yeah. Like our cock hardness is very similar to that. If you're like Whoa. waterfall, dude, I- I've been using uh, lube with my girl recently. I know it's like not some weird shit, but I am all the way in. Slipping and sliding? Dog, it is. Gripping and riding? It is. Dipping and diving? Yes. Chipping and diving? Scuba dive. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, um, it's it's great. I don't even add. I, I just, I, I pump like twice and then I just fucking lay a, lay a thick line on there. The NOS button. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then everything just, everything is just like Oh, that's slipping. the petroleum, yeah. That's like when you put 91 in your car. Yeah. You know what? I think that's a hoax. Yeah, it's got to be. I'll put 91 on my car. Every time I do it, I'm like, this well, is dude, who cares? With my car, it's not even an insanely nice car, but they were like, you got to put 91 in it. I was yeah, like, tell me, tell me. But I was like, what if I do 89? They're like, well, you can do that. Yep. What does yep. that mean? 
there's for sure been times where I've just been midway fill up an IC that's 87. I'm like, well, <laughs> probably going to, I don't know if that's good or not. I, it, it'll work. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm not a Formula One racer. You're not? I wish I was. That shit you looks look so like fun. You could be one. Dude, talk about fucking pussy. These F1 drivers get F, and that F stands for fucking. You think? Sir! Really? Sir! Yeah, but like. You the, need to watch the F1 series. First of maybe, all. Well, it's, it's like bigger in. Where is it? France? I no, just, it's bigger in the world. I just went with F for France. Europe. Europe, massive. I mean, world, like it's inter- international, very, very. International. Isn't that funny? F1 drivers get a lot of cooter, but guys who floor in a Chevy Camaro get none, zero. But there are some girls you who put like a racetrack that. and they're like, hold up, yeah, he can do it in a controlled fashion with a. We gotta go. We should go. We should go to an F1 race. Okay, I want to go to a monster truck where they like drive over cars. I've been to one. It's fucking yeah, it's unreal. Cool really? Yeah, I've been to a rodeo in one of those. I've been to a rodeo. Really? A yeah. Yeah, I went to Six a rodeo socks. in Madison Square Gardens. Gardens? Madison Square Garden. Put There's only one? Yeah. That's got to be two. It's huge in there. You're, you're, <laughs> right. you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, all right, guys. Let's do a secret talk. Yeah. 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 Anonymous yeah. submission. Yeah. Trevor's story about punching a fridge reminded me of when I did that. I punched <laughs> my fridge and I broke my hand, which is where the real story starts. After I got my cast on, I hadn't released the poison in like a week. And oh. so my wife and I started doing the... Why? Sex. And when the time came, I went. To, yeah, he was an, a, an adult, it sounds like, when this happened. I punched for two days ago. I get it. It's <laughs> <all> good. <laughs> uh, so uh, him and his wife started having sex. And when the time came, I went to finish. And I proceeded to not only cut my dick with my cast, I also nuded on the cast that I couldn't wash. So I proceeded to walk around with a cum soaked cast, cast for two weeks after that. This guy, I would vote for this guy for Congress. This guy's a fucking incredible. Yeah, that cast ain't coming off. Let me tell you what, okay? It, it is really funny that you have to get that cast cut off, and the doctor's like, why does it smell like this? It's like, why is it lighting on fire when I try to cut this area? Yeah, yeah I would honestly find that cast, I would like take a Sharpie and circle it and be like, my penis was here. Mm. Yeah. Nobody's on board with that. Oh, you're, oh, you're circling? You're telling me we have a, a cum podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's on board with that. But I think I look. My oh my, here. my penis! Like your cum, you circle it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Not on board. Validate. Right. I yeah. just didn't have. I didn't have the correct visual. Well, I'm just wondering. You're you gonna. So you're gonna walk into like the post office or whatever, and it's gonna literally say, "I came right here." Yeah, they think it's a joke. But it's gonna until lie. the lady goes, "Why well, smell like pineapple?" Does asparagus make your semen smell bad? It Let's does. Find out. Really. I don't know. Has to. I don't. I think it's just urine. It's so crazy that they both come out of the same hole. If I'm, it's getting, like when the water cup and the lemonade are in the same one. Whoa, semen. What the hell is that? What? When you go to a drink fountain, yeah, and the water, like yep, little yep, thing, ch- ch- yeah, is also the lemonade one. That's like a penis because the lemonade is pee and the the, the water, water is semen. Whoa. Semen, and it always tastes a little off. Asparagus does make your cum taste bad. Bad? Yeah, wow. pungent. A pungent cum. That's a fuck really? sentence. Didn't taste any different one. <laughs> pungent. <laughs> I don't. Mm. I think it's all a hoax, though, because we found out that pineapple actually doesn't make your cum. Yeah, taste it does. Good. I think it's a hoax. Is it not? I, I think, think it's just a diet hoax. thing. I think I'm almost positive. I, think, I, I almost positive looked it up, and it was a. So women have to have the your, the pH balance proper to have their cooter be great. We just have a need to have like a proper balanced diet. Yeah. Maybe that's a big push for Athletic Greens. We're doing a, a lot ton of shameless ads. plugs, yeah. <laughs> this one. Add it up. Um, the pineapple thing might be a myth, might not. Science yes. is what? inconclusive. What type of fucking Google search is that? Google's like, that hey, I couldn't tell a difference smoking a cigarette. It's just the scientists <laughs> are being like, we don't want to say one way or the other. But they're like, the diet does have an effect on bodily fluid, like the taste bodily of it. Bodily fluids, call it semen and get out. <laughs> bodily yeah. fluids. The, that's the only thing people are re- researching. Bodily fluids, that's it. Come, we're not talking about blood. Urine. What is a, the body only does what? How many fluids? Spit. Sweat. Sweat. Saliva. Saliva. Cry. Come. Cry. Come. In that order. In that, oh, <laughs> God, of course. And you ever vaginal come so hard fluid. you want to come? I've came so hard I laughed. What did you say? You ever came so hard you want to cry? What you I said come. You said you ever come so hard you want to come. <laughs> Let me relive that moment. Where are the men in black guys at? You saw the movie. What? You saw the movie. What movie? Oh, you didn't? 
What I saw movie? your story. I thought you saw Top Gun. Oh, no, I didn't see it. Oh, you son of a bitch. I, I had the about same it. reaction to it. I was like, whoa, Travis saw a movie? No, yeah. I didn't. I was so she, excited to talk she about She went it. with a friend. We can talk about it on Patreon. Yeah. She went with a friend and came back all whoa, hot and bothered. Friend? Hey. Who? I don't know. Oh. She said it was some, some friends from the gym. Oh, then I think we got to do some R&D. Hey, she getting some workouts in. Sex. No. no, I think she went with some other ladies. I don't know. Hell yeah, I would go. But she came back hot and bothered her Miles Teller. And let me tell her something else. <laughs> I'm hot too. Whoa. Maybe? Miles Teller, I'm going to be honest, and I know I would catch a lot of flack for this. I don't know what all the hype was about. He had a fucking mustache. Did you see it? Yeah. He had a fucking Hawaiian shirt on. He was not hot. He was fine. Tom Cruise in the first one? Jesus. Val he Kilmer was, in the first one? literally Jesus. Fuck. Bring up pictures of Val Kilmer. Wait, can in the I see the, first... the Miles Teller one? Yeah, I think they're all hot and bothered because of what? Because of his body, right? Uh, he looks like Nick Cage. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Wait, click it. Oh, go to the uh, the photo one. That's one. That's what he looked like in the movie. Everyone's like, "Whoa!" It, it, not great. He reminds me of uh, Jonah Hill's character on Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, a, I like a wine server. And here's the crazy thing. I mean, you want to click on the body? Fine. Fine. That's pretty solid. It's solid. I'm just trying to I, hate. Yeah, I would. But the dude who played kind of the Val Kilmer's character, the, his whatever, his arch nemesis in this shit, he was hot. Were you saying to look up Val Kilmer? Oh in my Top God. Gun Val Kilmer in the first Top Gun. Holy shit. I'd eat prosciutto out of his asshole. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a bad pick. No, that's great. That's a bad pick. Like, look go. at that shit. Look at that shit. Read it and weep. Yeah, wow. I, did every guy just kind of look like that? Vanilla ice kind of Just, feel? I mean, and then you, oh, you want to you see, I mean, see something hot? What's crazy is I could have <clears throat> played him. Could have. I don't see anything wrong with that. You guys are the same I'm person. I'm that hot. You are. Thank you. I'm on board with that. Look up Tom Cruise, please, and then we can uh, cut, we can friggin' get out of here. But the, the new one. I'm sorry, the old one. Hot. Top right? Jesus. Give me a... Get, uh, I'm so sorry, dude. Type in volleyball scene. And let's just all just get hard Oh, you together. got your scenes down. Yeah, dude. This is an iconic scene. They're playing volleyball? Oh, yeah. You Fly the seen- plane! No. Look at that shit! Tom Cruise! Yeah, wow. Look at, look at that. Tan, bronze. Are you kidding me? Put an ice cube at the top of his head, let it fucking soak down, and I'll fucking, I'll drink it. Like an ice luge. It's hot. And he's, look at this. Val Kilmer spins it. You know he didn't even want to be in this movie? Why? He said the script sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he didn't want to be in this movie. Val Kilmer? Yeah. It's just an opportunity to be hot. Yeah. Is, he, it, is it still that good of a movie when you go back and watch it? I mean, I saw it years and years ago. Fuck. I named my pet Goldfish Maverick after it. Did you? Probably. Oh, shit. Goose. I mean, I named my pet Goose Goose. Yeah, everybody wanted to be Goose. You had a pet Goose? No, I never had a pet Goose. My cock? Hmm. Is jerking off just petting your cock? <laughs> petting zoo. That's what I call my bedroom. The petting, the petting zoo. zoo. Yeah, that's what I call my closet. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a podcast. <laughs> Speaking of, that's been one. All right, guys, that is a podcast. Man, there's ups, there's downs, there's laughs, there's cries. It was, it was just full of undulations, and I uh, appreciate Undulations? Yeah, daddy. And I appreciate you guys being part of this. Um, a friendly reminder, we have a freaking Patreon. Four extra episodes. Drops every Friday, ad-free for only $5 a month. Um, go on patreon.com, backslash Sip Socks Pod. Um, you get access to the entire back catalog. It's like over 100 episodes and iconic episodes such as the Gabe interview and we interviewed Trev's girl. Guys, and they can go see the video of the Toyota Yaris being exploded in the desert. Oh, oh shit. Another yeah. perk. It's crazy. Um, yeah. So that is the episode, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, bye.